Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a cash stuffing with the first and second paycheck of March. We are well into the month already. I think it's the 10th today. It is Friday. It is gloomy and raining outside, but I need to get off of this procrastination train and go ahead and film these videos. I literally have just been procrastinating filming these videos because I have had the budgets done, at least the rough drafts, since like last month. So it's not a matter of me falling behind on the numbers and the budget. It's just a matter of me not standing here and filming. But anyway, I'm here now. So like I said, I am combining the first two paychecks of March and we are going to be stuffing. I don't even remember how much. So let me go ahead and count the money so that I know how much it is. I forgot. <laughs> So we're going to be stuffing $2,301 today. That is for, for the first two weeks of March, which one already came and went, but I still have to stuff the sinking funds and I will be stuffing the cash envelopes for those first two weeks, even though some of this money has already pretty much been spent. But the way that my brain works, I just like to see the money in the envelopes and then when I do my cash on stuffings, that is when I take the money out and account for those transactions. I have been keeping track of all of our transactions. I, if anything, if I don't do anything else, I do make sure to track our transactions and of course pay our bills. But um, I'm going to go ahead and go through the budget. Like I said, I have the rough drafts already, but since I don't want to go through two separate budgets at one time, I did combine them in this back. So I have both of them together here, the first paycheck and the second paycheck. I did plug in all the numbers, but for the sake of this video, I did make a combination of paycheck one and two, and I'll be going over this budget with you guys. So for the income, we are working with a total of $4,356 with 70 cents. And of course that is for the paycheck one and paycheck two the vacation paycheck and then the TA pay. I will put like something here in um, text explaining what those two things are. I've mentioned it many, many times. I don't want to go through it again. And yes, I do already have paycheck three. I just don't know the income yet, but I have everything plugged in already. I'm trying to be proactive, even though I've been like slacking as far as videos go goes. So for the bills, it is from the 2nd through the 14th. The union dues, $95.00. Subscriptions, $74. Cell phone, $281. The electric bill, $100. The water bill, $99. ADT, $73. And then the first half of child support, $350. The child support amount that reflects in our budget isn't everything that gets paid in child support. It is just what we account for in our actual budget. So the total for everything is $1,072. For our cash envelopes, we are stuffing a total of $1,200. And again, that is for two paychecks, not for one, because that is an insane amount for just one paycheck. And then extra expenses for my son Phoenix's birthday celebration. It is his birthday this month on the 18th, and I am accounting for $350. I hope that's enough. I think it's enough. I have been budgeting $250 whenever we do these little dinners, these little birthday parties, but... I always go over, so I did include an extra $100, and I'm hoping that is enough. We will be having a little birthday celebration for him, not on his actual birthday, but I think the following week. For his actual birthday, we might just take him out to get something to eat really quick, and then the following weekend, we'll have like all of our family together. So for our sinking funds, we're stuffing a total of $751 today, and there are no debt payments for these two paychecks. So 
all together, counting the bills, cash envelopes, extra expenses, sinking funds, it's a total of $3,373. The total cash is $2,301, which is what we're stuffing today. And then the remaining balance is $983.70. And that remains in the bank for April's mortgage payment. I'm already getting mixed up. I was going to say March. I still feel like it's um, February. So it's going to be off a little bit. Let me just move this. I usually don't use the back of my little notebook, so it feels a little weird to have it on this side, but that's all right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with unstuffing our envelopes. There's still a bit of money in some of these envelopes, so I do want to empty some of them out for gas. We still have a remaining balance of a nine, so I think I am going to roll this over and nothing in miscellaneous and beauty i always leave it in here kids i think i do want to take some out there's 22 what i'm gonna do is let's see how much do i have here i have nine i'm gonna keep 10 and i'll put this 21 here so technically i took 12 out of here i do still want to leave a little bit of a buffer because like i said we have spent some money from certain categories i'm not exactly sure if kids is one of them but just in case just keep a little bit extra in here giving i always leave it in there personal nothing take out there's nothing groceries there's nothing household i always leave in there and that's it so pretty much the only rollover is 21 dollars. but something is better than nothing i will link my cash on stuffing here um that's where i show you how i unstuffed whichever transactions there was for certain categories and there was a few actually all of them were from my cash envelopes so i'm going to go ahead and start with gas that is getting 100 dollars. i don't even remember the um denominations but we'll see one two three four five that's 100 in gas Miscellaneous is getting $30, so I'm going to do a 20 and a 10. So technically, per week for gas, it was $50. For miscellaneous, it was $15, but most of these I'm just doubling. Beauty is getting $40. Now there's 20, 40, 60, 80, 125. Brian did get a haircut this past weekend, so there was some money that was used from here. And all of our haircuts, they always get paid in cash. And there's always a buffer in beauty. I just, in case they want more than one haircut per month, the money is already in here. And I don't have to be like adding it into a budget. You know, it can always just be taken out of there. So kids, bless you, mommy. <laughs> Kids is getting forty dollars, so two twenties. Now there's twenty, forty, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. Giving is going to get ten dollars, so that's a five and one, two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna add it in here because I still have singles in my wallet. I feel like every single time I make I film a video i say i have singles in my wallet but i really do i really don't go much of anywhere so i don't come in to contact with many people that might need you know a few dollars um if they need help but i do have money in there all the time and not just the singles that i keep for giving i always like to have at least 40 dollars, like random money just in case um i do need more cash because i don't take my cash envelopes with me since you guys know i usually just use my credit card and then pay ourselves back with the cash that's in our envelopes i know for some people maybe that's like doing too much but it has worked for me for years even before filming these videos even before knowing what cash stuffing was i was already doing that like taking the money out and then paying ourselves back because i was still using my credit card randomly throwing that out there just because you guys know me and i'm a bit random at times so for personal 
Brian is getting 120 and I think I did it in 250s and a 20. And he's, I mean, he's been using his credit card these past week and a half. But um, whatever he has used, I will just like unstuff it. But I'll do that off, cam off camera because I don't track his spending. I'm only going to track it because I have the cash and he has been spending money. So I do have to account for that. So that's 120 for him and 30 for me. So a 20 and a 10. Let me grab my wallet. Have it here on the side. So, and if you're curious as to why does he get way more than I do, I am a stay-at-home mom. I don't spend very much. It always feels like I'm spending money because I do the grocery shopping, you know, the household shopping. Most of the shopping, I do it anyway so it feels like i'm always spending money and by the time it comes to me spending my personal money i just i really don't want to i'd rather save it i'm more of a saver i wasn't always a saver but i am now and then um, brian does work outside of the home so he does need a little bit more money just in case he wants to get some lunch or you know just money to spend so uh takeout is getting 150 dollars so I'm just going to do one and a 50. We've actually been doing pretty good for this past week and a half. I'm hoping that we don't go over the 150. I think we're already almost at the $100 mark, but we haven't gone over. So that's good. Groceries is getting $600. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And... I usually budget $600 for the entire month, which I will show you here because I also do the month, I also do the monthly uh, budget rough draft here in this binder, I mean, in this notebook. So as you can see down here, it does say $600. So it's only the first two paychecks and that money is almost completely spent. I will talk about that whenever I go over the cash on stuffing and um it was mainly replenishing a lot of things a lot of pantry stuff that i needed to replenish but um for the next paychecks i'm only budgeting either 50 dollars or 25 dollars uh just because we have i literally bought the bulk of everything the first i think last week i went to sam's club and i went a little ham sandwich but um we're good so far. It probably will be $700 for the entire month instead of $600. I'm trying to keep it as close to $600 as I can, but if it goes all the way up to $700, oh well. It's just, I guess, like a upfront expense so that the next months could be a lot smoother when it comes to groceries. Household is getting $80. So I'm going to do four twenties, And there is... 40 here already so that's 120 this is for our pets supplies food and then also any cleaning supplies any household items toilet paper sorry if you guys can hear my pool my pool pump the vacuum it like does that ugly sound and then extras is getting 350 so i have 300 and you know what i think i'm gonna leave 100 and do two 300, two 20s, and two fives. 100, 200, 250, 320, 40, 45, 50, yeah. So this is for my son's birthday celebration. That's like for food, cake, anything that I need to purchase for that, then I have it in that envelope. And I do like to take it out in cash because I like to track it as I'm spending the money as I go. That's pretty much it for cash envelopes, extra expenses. I'm gonna go into sinking fund and I'm gonna start off with my higher priority. Sinking funds. Emergency fund is getting $10. So now there's 1,000, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. $1,070. dollars 
I am thinking I will be shifting the way that I stuff our cash envelopes. I mean, our sinking funds. What I will be doing is whenever an expense is coming up, for example, I've talked about it, our vacation's coming up. I will be focusing a lot more into that specific sinking fund until it is completely funded. And then I will move on to the next thing. So for example, I think the next thing to come up besides our roof that is also important but it can wait a little bit we're okay um is going to be our car insurance the yearly premium that is coming up in may and to be honest i haven't really been saving anything for it and but we do like to pay it yearly so i don't want to have it as a monthly expense not only do we save some money paying it yearly but it is also something that we don't ha have to really think about. The cars are fully insured for the year and I don't have to worry about it till the following year. But I did end up like not saving enough. So it's a little over a thousand dollars that is going to have to be paid in May. So once the vacation, uh, we fully fund the vacation, that is going to be something that I'm focusing on next. And I think that's how we're going to do it until everything that we have to pay for that is urgent gets paid and then we could just kind of evenly distribute wherever we um, see fit. So I'm sure many people do it this way and I kind of already was doing it this way, but I've been adding $5 here, $5 there because emergency fund, I still want to add a little bit into it. Just all of them, I still want to add a little bit into them. The only one that, the only binder that usually doesn't get very much is just our revolving sinking funds sinking funds that often do get used so um yeah there you go that's another another random thought <laughs> home maintenance is getting twenty dollars and now home maintenance has one thousand two thousand two thousand five hundred six hundred seven hundred eight hundred eight twenty eight forty eight sixty eight eighty nine hundred and twenty thirty forty forty five fifty so that's $2,950. Um, for that, car maintenance is getting $10. I have a hair here and it's bugging me. So $10 for car maintenance. Now there's 100, 200, 320, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 390. I'm not sure if the insurance premium i will account for it in car maintenance or account for it in annual bills what do you guys think i did have it under car maintenance but i think annual bills makes more sense let me know which one would you guys add it into annual bills is getting ten dollars so now there's 100 210 20 25 30 35 we did do our taxes and I'm happy to say we are getting a tax refund, which I knew we were going to get a tax refund. I just wasn't sure about the amount. It is a bit less than I was hoping, but we can work with what whatever we did receive. And I don't think I'm going to be doing a cash stuffing for it. I might just go over the budget with it or include it into a monthly budget i'm not exactly sure how i'm gonna go about that because that's that money is pretty much already spent i don't want to get too much into that but um just know that we did get a tax refund and i am so glad that we did and now we can you know use the money as the best way that i think we think is the way to go so annual bills is done we i am going to be unstuffing the tax preparation which was 180 dollars not the 150 that i had projected here so health is getting ten dollars so now there's 20 40 60 70 80 85 90 91 92 i did take my daughter to the dentist this past i think it was tuesday she did have a procedure done. I'm not going to go into it right now, but I just, as I go through these envelopes, I'm reminding myself of things that have come up. I am not using the health envelope because it was a little bit more than this money that's here. So I just using the buffer, but it was an expense that came up this week. School is getting $10. I just feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a long time and um, I have a lot of updates. 
So 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48. This past week would have been a great time to experiment and film as I was out spending money or, you know, going over our spending week. But for one, I'm like super camera shy and I'm not somebody that just, I mean, I do have my phone with me, but I'm not somebody that just like has my phone and is texting all the time. And I don't know. I think it's going to take a bit for me to actually do like a spend a week with me spending shopping i don't know what i'm what i would call it but eventually you will get those type of videos from me just give me give me a little bit of grace and have a little bit of patience with me so vacation is going to be getting 171 dollars 100 a 50 20 and the last single yeah we did do quite a bit of spending this past week so it would have been really good content if I would have filmed it. Now there's 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 750, 800, 820, 840, 868, 80, 40, 60, 80, 85, 86, 87. 1,987. Yes. So we're almost at 2,000. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I feel like... I need to be checking things off, but I don't have to. So the um, Christmas is not getting anything. I'm only stuffing Christmas with the credit card rewards, which usually is um, put into my credit card by like the 20 something of the month. So that doesn't happen until the end of the month. And then for rollover, the $21 from our cash envelopes. So now I have 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 220, 230, 230, 246 dollars. Let me go ahead and update this because I'm doing, so I said 246. I am keeping track of it. I'm just going to do the last day of February because technically this is money from January and February. I don't want to confuse myself and put a March date. So there was 171 at the at the end of January 246. So for February it was $75 in rollover. It's a lot less than January, but anything is better than nothing and I will be using this money also for our vacation. So, oh, one last one. Pets is getting $10. This one was in my cash envelopes. Let me go ahead and put it in front of the rollover. Yeah, this was for my cash envelopes, in my cash envelopes before, but I did move it to my priority sinking funds. Higher priority. One second, my daughter snack break. <laughs> Give me a minute. I'm gonna go into my kids. Ooh. Whoops. <laughs> my kids sinking funds. Well, savings. Not really sinking funds because they don't I don't spend anything out of here. Uh, so my daughter is gonna get ten dollars. And now she has 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 470, 490, 510, 520, 530, 540, 542, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. 1,500 or 48? 48. 48. There's a whole lot of 20s. Phoenix is getting a 20. So now he has 1,500, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85. Josiah is also getting 20. Now he has 1,500, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85. And Isaiah is getting 40. So 
So he has two 20s. Now he has 1,000, 2,000, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 110, 20, 30, 40. 2,240 for Isaiah. And that's it for this binder. And the last few envelopes are for Family Fun. I'm going to skip this one because I did want to talk about it a little bit because it is quite a bit that I'm stuffing in here, but it might not even happen. So I do want to leave that for last. For clothing, it's getting $10. And so now we have 15. I think some of the denominations were wrong, but that's okay. And then birthdays is getting 100. So I'm going to do, let's see. I'm going to do a 50 and wait, what am I doing? Okay. <laughs> How much is supposed to be in here? 164. So 150. Wait, what did I do? I don't know. 164. I think I wanted 20s, but that's okay. You know what, I'm just going to do one, two, three, four, five. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 160, one, two, three, four. Okay, we're good. Um, and then the family fun is getting $300. So this should be 300, 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. So that's 300 and, and 20, 40, 50, 65, 66, 67, 367 dollars. But I am not sure if this is going to end up happening. I did mention in my last bonus cash stuffing savings challenges, I'll link it here if you're interested, that we were probably going to take like a small weekend trip in the month of March, but it might not happen because I didn't mention where we were going. We were going to go to Big Bear for the weekend. Brian has a friend and um, old coworker that actually has a cabin in Big Bear and he, you know, rents it out to friends and family. And he pretty much just um, offered it to, to Brian for literally free. He's like, all you have to pay for is the um the cleaning fee which is like a hundred dollars which is like a steal that was so awesome that he offered his cabin but i guess because of all the snow that happened last week not only here which is i'm in southern california but you know big bear is also in southern california anyway it's in the mountain obviously it snows a lot more up there so the mountain is actually closed unless you're a resident um it's closed until i think the 18th which is my son's birthday uh so i'm not sure if it's gonna happen but i did still want to budget the money into the family fun envelope just in case we do end up going randomly after the 18th like i said i'm not sure if it will happen but just in case i do have the money if we don't end up going then I will just reallocate this money into the vacation envelope so that we can get closer to our goal in that particular envelope. But I'm hoping it does happen, although we are not prepared at all. I don't have a lot of snow gear. I don't have snow boots, snow nothing. So I think that that little vacation, although it is almost practically free, it would end up costing us probably a lot more than $300 if we're going to buy boots and things like that for our entire family. So I don't know. I The little bit of snow that I did get last week and playing with snow outside, my fingers were literally numb. So I know that we would need, you know, some kind of clothing outside of sweaters. I'm hoping it happens, but then again, if it doesn't, it's okay. There's always another time, another opportunity. And um, at least we know that we have somewhere to stay and it will be affordable. 
So that's what's happening with that. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, then it wasn't meant to be and there's always next time. So that's pretty much gonna be the end of this video, you guys. If you made it up until this point, thank you so much. I have been wanting to film like these past, this past week, pretty much. But I, like I said, I've been on the procrastination train and it was just, it had a hold of me. If I told you how many times I actually set up and for one reason or, or, or another, I just didn't end up filming, um, you'd be so annoyed with me. It was probably like five times that I tried to film and it just, it didn't happen. So, um, but I'm here now and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and give this video a like. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you made it up until this point, go ahead and put a train in the comments or just put the word, I don't know, choo-choo. <laughs> um, because I need to get off this procrastination train. But as always, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day or night. See you next time. Bye. I completely forgot to choose the... Um, it's going to have to be four envelopes for my 100 envelope challenge. So I'm going to spin the wheel four times and we're going to get our envelope. Ooh, that's loud. So the first envelope is number five. I'm going to go ahead and hide the slice. So let me put it right here in my... I already have my March rollover budget set up. So I do have it right here. There are no numbers plugged in, but I am going to put the envelopes down here. So number five, I'm hoping for low numbers just because um, most of the money, like I said, we are putting it into our vacation fund, but I still wanted to contribute to the 100 envelope challenge. So the next one, so much for that. 54 so so far we have 59 let me go ahead and hide the slice so let me spin again Forty three. Oh, I didn't hide the slice so I'm gonna have to delete that one and 85 so the total well, let's see 5 plus 54 plus 43 plus 85 is 187 I guess for two weeks two paychecks that's that's okay so I did hide that one and now I'm gonna have to so I'm gonna go to settings and I'm going to delete 43 because I didn't hide it. Delete. So that's it for that. Now that's gonna be the end of this video. All right, bye-bye.